we will continue with our advanced video lecture session of start pro and its introduction session and in this session we will see different finite element modeling technique which we use in start pro we have the column structures we have beam structures we have plate structures slab structure maybe surface that we can use for the walls and you have solid structures and different type of structures you can have different properties and you can control and you can do the design and do the validation on your structural analysis and also you have different types of loads and the combinations and the code which are integrated as per the different country's code standard if we categorically see different type of loads the dead load, live load, wind load, seismic load and user defined very specific load like snow load or maybe other type of loads which you have based on the territory. And you can have different country standard, maybe the American Concrete Institute, ACI or Indian standard code and based on the standards which are defined by the codes, those guidelines we do by using the load combinations. And just like that you can have different kind of loads which are well supported within start like maybe the point load or the concentrated load uniform that is UDL temporary load strains support and displacement and pre-stress conditions just like that different standards for the wind loads or the moving load conditions or maybe seismic load conditions and different user defined loads everything is supported and you can have the load types and once you do the basic assignment of the structure that may be the foundation or maybe the structure and each assignment you do based on the practical requirement on site that may be a particular ground foundation you apply or maybe a tie beam you apply or maybe you apply the primary or secondary bar standard based on the structural requirement of the story requirement that everything after assigning you do a code checking and you can see through rendering view that how your structure looks like and you can see through isometric and you can rotate the views in different angles you can independently visualize the different load cases support orientation joint conditions and the dimensions and also you can import all the details to your excel and you can visualize for understanding the implication of practical and the physical model and its ratio and also you can do a archive of the whole structural analysis which you have done and if you see the analysis capabilities is having broadly capable from the linear to non-linear and if you see the 2d structural analysis and you have 3d structural analysis you have the dynamic condition based on frequency and based on time and you have seismic analysis like earthquake response analysis you have secondary analysis maybe you need to do the buckling analysis or natural frequency analysis that can be done by using the start basic professional version start pro and couple of new added features you can find within start new version you have advanced analysis engine where you can do the p and delta analysis include which includes your stress stiffening so if you have the stress stiffness that you can consider and also you can have the deflection which is included in your initial condition you can do the model analysis using the stiffness condition and also the buckling which I discussed in my earlier slides and if you see the result verification that can be done by using the post processing where the allowable deflections are permitted or not the BM and SF diagrams you can visualize you can see the stress contours you can see the animation and finally you can have your report and you can match with the safe code data and you can validate your model if you have different design codes based on the different countries like India Japanese having their own standard British having their own standard so based on those standards when you prepare your hand calculations and you interpret that through the start report that is fundamentally very very important to 
understand the hand calculations and the star driven output and the compatibility between this both the report and you have built in still table up indian british and different countries and you can do the code check after doing the analysis and for concrete design also you have all the consideration of the codes based on the bar scheduling and the rebarring layout schedule you can prepare and also you can do the shear wall design which you typically do for your earthquake analysis and you can do the automatic calculation of cracked moment of inertia per concrete design and you can use different concrete design code but the indian standard will be using 456 is and different other codes also are integrated and you can define all the reinforcement design because reinforcement is nothing but you increase the stiffness by adding the steel bars and those steel bars having their own standard as you can see you have a primary bar and you have a secondary bar that is tie bar so based on all this typical requirement you can do the various design code check for concrete and finally as you can see you have a customized report which you can customize best on your company standard you can put your logos you can deliver this and finally you can validate it and you can start your work which will be economic finally and the topics which will be covered will be the introduction past which this will be the final one then we'll see the model generation technique geometry functions properties specification and support how to apply different loading conditions analysis and post processing we'll see the steel design you will also look into the reinforcement of cement and concrete rcc and finally we'll see a couple of advanced project on which we'll be working thank you